Good morning, my Taurus Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Good morning, Taurus. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring, Taurus. What's up with Taurus? Taurus, let's get an oracle for you guys. Oh, God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Taurus Collective. Mm. Ooh, Taurus, what you got for my Taurus Collective? Sacred pool. Dang, Taurus. Okay, now I've had two readings on this. The Wizard of Awareness. Yes, yes, yes. Gentle Gardener. Oh, Taurus. This is the softer side of Taurus? A Taurus going through an awakening. The Gentle Gardener, right? You see that uh, old woman up there looking down at like the little miniature... Oh, fairies, whatever the hell. Looks like little piggies down there. I don't know what the... Oh, fairies on the mushrooms. This is a gentler side to a Taurus? Is there a gentler side to a Taurus? Taurus, you got a gentle side. Someone's definitely going through an awakening. We got two, three, uh, four, seven. Okay. Uh, 47 goes to 11. Hmm. This is that someone doing the healing and gently nurturing something. Being kind and gentle, right? Some of you are believing in fairies, right? Go with it. <laughs> Go with it. Fairies aren't my terminology, but, you know, it's nurturing something. Uh, something small. It's almost like a protective energy. Taurus, you're protecting something. But I'm getting that Three of Pentacles energy right there, too. That, uh... Wizard of Awareness. Drawn on your emotions to nurture, nurture fairies. That's not, that's not fairies. Dreams? Slowly nurturing. Three of Pentacles energy. Working, building, working. Figuring out how you're going to make something work. Right? Giving love and attention to something rather minuscule, but you're spending a lot of time and energy on it. Right? You're giving to it. Very beautiful, very beautiful energy. Okay, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. What deck? I don't know, Taurus. The softer side of Taurus. Hermit in reverse with the Nine of Wands. Letting something go because you're ready to start giving to a situation. Someone's ready to speak. Someone's ready to speak. Guards are down. Learning from the defeat, right? The Nine of Wands there. That guy looked defeated, right? But it's learning from the defeat. King of Cups energy. The Sacred Pool there. Uh, Wizard of aware uh, of awareness, yeah. Uh, some of uh, love your emotions, getting in tune with your emotions, getting in touch with your emotions. 
Sweet Jesus. Par for the course with this water energy around, okay? Uh, what do you have in my Taurus Collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I'm almost getting that image, uh, you know, of mice and men. Wasn't it Lenny that had the mouse? Uh, we all know how that went, but, you know, I'm kind of getting that image. Some big energy taking care of something really small and minute, but be careful and not to crush it. Eight of Swords. And see again, holding that little miniature, um... Nine of coins, nine of coins, with the seven of wands, and the king of coins in reverse. No, the knight of coins in reverse, with the king of coins in the upright. Gentle Gardener. Taurus, it's like you've been protecting something. Uh, uh, for some of you, maybe it was just a little glimmer of hope. A little glimmer of possibility. A little, you know, the Nine of Pentacles there. That talks about happiness, right? Your stability. So maybe you've been just, just holding on to that little bit of um, happiness? Something that gave you, like, hope. Because, you know, fairies aren't my terminology. But, you know, to, to believe in fairies, you have faith, right? Um, and you defend this. You defend this. Because it's, it's like whatever it is, it's it's almost minuscule in comparison to like uh, your real life energies. But it's maybe it's just that little glimmer of hope that you hold on to, that you defend within yourself. Um, Knight of Coins in reverse with the King of Coins in reverse. And it's like you, you hold on to it because you... It's like you feel it's insignificant, which is why you haven't presented it to the world, or you don't talk about it, or you don't show it. Um, it's like one that, uh, like a guilty pleasure if you like Spice Girls or some shit like that, right? You hold this so so near and dear to you that you're so afraid to let anybody else see it because, yeah, this is the normal Taurus, right? Like I said, uh, of, of mice and men, but Lenny. I hope I'm getting that right. That would care for the mice, the mouse, the mice, yeah, the mice, the mouse. That you're so afraid you're going to hurt it. Uh, you're so afraid that it's like it's so fragile to you, but it's so minuscule. But yet you protect it so fucking tightly. With the Knight of Cups in reverse peeking out of the bottom. It's like, yeah, you don't want anybody to know. For some of you, this could even maybe be a love. That you just hold so dear and keep so close. But you don't do anything. You don't take action on it. You don't show it any emotion. Seven of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess, Four of Wands in reverse, Six of Coins with the Hangman in reverse. So, Damn. 
I am Taurus. You are so denying yourself of whatever happiness. Okay, the high priestess there, seven of cups in reverse with the four of wands. That's not high priestess energy, right? High priestess is to the higher good. Um, so there, there, you're. It's it's almost like you're uh, self sabotaging yourself here, not not opening up, not not giving this, because you see how you hold that. Whatever the hell you're holding so near and dear, that you see as being your nine of pentacles. This is the thing here, right? This is what keeps you stable. It's like the littlest thing that gives you hope. Which is good, because you never want to lose hope, right? Whatever whatever you can have, whatever you can hold on to that gives you hope, that's good. Especially when you put a lot of faith in that. But you don't show it any time, attention, or love. You just keep it, like, hidden in your pocket. Oh. That reminds me of a lot of a, a, a song I wrote years ago. With a pocket full of miracles, I'll change the world. Ooh. Ooh. It's like this would change your world, Taurus. Man, you protect it, though. The thing is, you know. But yet, you stay in situations that aren't to your higher good. <laughs> you know? It's like you can take everything else from me, but you're not taking this. Because whatever that is, is what makes you feel... Strong. Six of coins here with the hanging man in reverse. <sighs> Trying to figure out how to bring balance to a situation. Some of y'all are trying to figure out how you can turn that around. Ten of wands in reverse. And release from your burdens. But you do not know how you're going to do it. Taurus, this is deep, deep, deep ass energy, okay? But I'm liking the fact that you at least have something. That makes you feel secure. You know, as long as you have that glimmer of hope that things will get better, that things are going to turn around, that things are going to, to, to be okay. That's when you, you're able to defend yourself, defend yourself in situations. Keep going forward when, uh, you know, the situation might dictate elsewise. Right? And the situation might dictate other movement elsewhere. What? When the situation might dictate other forms of action. Not being vulnerable. With the knight energy here, that knight of pentacles and that knight of coins, not, not being vulnerable. You keep this very close to your chest. So you show up in the king form. Yeah, I said fairies, and I don't use fairies. That's not my terminology, right? So it's almost like you... Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever the hell this is that makes you feel secure and safe, to other people, they might feel as like a fairy tale. You know what I mean? Like a fairy. Uh <laughs> What's going on down the middle of this? Six of Pentacles. 
Five of Pentacles, excuse me, but you're given to a situation. Eight of Coins in reverse. Death card. And the Queen of Wands. Two of Swords in reverse at the bottom. Uh... You're working on something. You are working on something with the Five of Pentacles there, but this is in the background. You're giving to a situation. Maybe you're just putting money aside. You're doing something to kind of get your stability. Uh, like if you got, um, it's like you got the hope that things are going to get better, but now you need like the, the financial backing to do it. This is like a, a little nest egg, right? You've just been giving to a situation, kind of putting something like back. Like, for your stability, right? Money. Could be money. Uh, hiding money. Uh, coffee can. Something like that, right? You've been working on something. Because you're keeping something hid. This Queen of Wands energy in reverse. From someone who you feel is going to, you know, uh, squash your dreams. <laughs> squash your dreams. Two of Swords with the Three of Swords, right? Five of Swords energy. Yeah, you're very, look at this, you're very protective of this, this queen energy right here. Because you don't want to stir up any conflict. So it's almost like you're playing dead. You're playing dead, but at the same time, you're working on new opportunities for victory. Because you have hope. So Taurus, whatever you got going on, keep doing it. Because the what whatever you're doing is eventually going to open up that door to allow you to move on in victory. Yeah, because you're definitely very guarded and protective about someone. Whatever you're doing, you're definitely keeping it hush hush. You're keeping it hush hush. But you're definitely saving and working on something. And you're working in the background, right? That Eight of Pentacles is you working in the background. It, it's almost like you're working, and but you give like a little bit. Maybe you throw a little bit into an account or like a shoebox or some shit. It's like you're creating your own nest egg. Because you got that hope that things are going to get better. That, you know, you are going to get your stability. You have hope. Taurus, you have hope. So no matter what your situation is, as long as you keep that little ball of hope, whatever uh, you hold on to, is, is that's fucking beautiful. Anything else here, Spirit? Sweet Jesus, Taurus. That's uh, That was deep. That was deep. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Things are going to balance out in the end. Because you keep giving to a situation. For some of you, this is given to yourself. You're going to balance some scales out. Things are going to balance out. And you're going to be able to go after your wish fulfillment. For some of you, maybe that's what keeps you going, right? The, the, the hope of the future. The hope of opportunities. Damn, y'all. He is gonna ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, y'all be getting deep today. Ooh, Taurus, keep keep that hope, baby. Just keep that hope going. Keep that hope going. Peace, love, and light.